The scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables x and y. A line of best fit is also shown. Which of the following equations best represents the line of best fit shown? Okay, so we have this graph with a bunch of data points and we have this line of best fit that goes down the graph. And we need to see which of these equations best represents the line of best fit. Okay, so looking at this line of best fit, we see that it has a negative slope. We know it's negative because as x increases on the x-axis, the value of y is going down. So the line is pointing down. It's downward sloping, which means the slope is negative. So we can look at the answer choices and see which ones have negative slopes. So A does not have a negative slope. You see the coefficient of x is positive. That means this line, this equation, has a positive slope. But we want negative slopes, so A is wrong. B looks good. It has a negative coefficient, which means it has a negative slope. C is wrong because it has a positive coefficient in front of x, so it's saying that the slope of the line is positive, which is wrong. And then D also has a negative slope, so that's good. Okay, now let's look at the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. and The y-axis is this vertical axis here. And it seems to cross the y-axis at right about here. It looks to be about 13.5. And this is a positive 13.5. So we need to find a line, either A or D, which has a positive 13.5 as the y-intercept. And we can see D does not have a positive 13.5 y-intercept because it's D is saying that the y-intercept is at negative 13.5, which is incorrect. Negative 13.5 is down in the negative y-axis. If we were to continue this line down, it would be way down here. So B is correct. It has the correct y-intercept and the correct negative slope. 